mussels, sausage, and potatoes in white wine. When you cook a dish like this, potatoes, mussels, sausages, you think you're dining out, but it's so simple. So, the potatoes first, that's the base starch. Get them nice and caramelized in olive oil. And here I have sausage out of the casing. It's about three links. You can get your sausages, you can pull them out of the casing, or you can buy sausage out of the casing. And let's spread it around. Let's get the sausages to render a little bit. In the meantime, we'll put some onions and all of this on a medium heat. So what am I doing here? I'm holding like a bridge here. And then I go in with the tip of a sharp knife and just cut slices into it. And then, of course, dice it on the other side, keeping the tip of my fingers away from the knife. Always the knuckles. I'll put just a little bit of white wine to render it a little bit. Loosen up all the little bits and pieces that have caramelized on the side. And then we'll add the flavorings. But let's talk mussels. I know with all the restaurants, we sell a lot of mussels. People love mussels. But somehow, people are reluctant to cook mussels. Well, let me tell you. Mussels are delicious. They're inexpensive. And they're easy to cook. They cook very quickly. Now more than ever, the mussels that you buy, they're mostly cultivated. You don't need to clean them. When I would go mussling with my uncle, Uncle Emilio, he was a fisherman. He would drop us kids on the rocks around the coastline before he went out with his little boat and the mussels grew attached to the rocks. So I knew how to pick my mussels and certainly I know how to cook my mussels and I want you to cook mussels. You know that my grandson Lorenzo, he's now on the west coast and he sends me these pictures. Him and some friends, they're on the rocks picking the mussels and that's wonderful to see. So let me season this. I'm gonna salt just the potatoes and the sausages. Peperoncino, I like it spicy. For the mussels and the potatoes and everything else. And thyme, thyme goes very good with, with mussels. Okay, the potatoes are almost cooked. The sausages are rendered. Now, let me just dump the mussels right in here for the thyme. Okay, put some more wine. Oil, I started with oil, but I'm gonna dress it up a little bit now. Okay. And I'm gonna cover it. Let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes. I'll check on it and we'll be ready to enjoy dinner. And you have a full meal out of one pot. Here I have another email, keep them coming. Eli and Olin have sent a photo in and here's what they say. I caught these red rock crabs with my son at our local beach. I typically boil the legs and body and serve it with garlic butter, but was curious how you would prepare them. I love crabs, I used to go crabbing all the time. On the rocks, we used to chase the crabs because they hide very quickly. All right, let's take a look at these crabs. All right, this looks like a beautiful crab. It's a big one. You have two here, I think. You can make a great pasta sauce from these. You have to clean them. You have to pull up the cap and underneath you find the gills. You remove those gills and the head, that's usually where the digestive tract ends. You cut that out and then you break it in half the body and you make sauce. A little bit of garlic, an onion, some crushed tomatoes. Put the crabs in there, a little peperoncino, and you got yourself a nice sauce for your pasta. Keep on foraging for them, you and your son. How wonderful is that? The mussels are almost done. And of course, you need some bread to dunk in the juice. Let's see. Let me put some bread here. It has to also look nice, you know, the whole presentation. Okay, let's check on the mussels. Mmm, what an aroma. Let me chop some parsley. I have to get going quickly here. Mm. 
let's get it all in mm, just like that I'm gonna put some oil in there now the last touches here mm, look at the potatoes there's juice and you see how nice and plump they are this is how you want your muscles okay we are ready to serve just like that the pot is hot don't forget to put the empty plates or little bowls to put the shells. Okay, that goes on the table. So let's serve up this manjata. But you see, you see this plumpness here? This is what you want. You do not want to overcook those mussels. Look at this beauty right here. Mamma mia, che bellezza. Now we'll put the potatoes in the center. Okay, so that's one plate. The other, okay. If a mussel doesn't open, throw it out. Mm -hmm. This one looks good. Oh, they're so beautiful, so plump. So that's what I'm telling you. Get going cooking mussels. You can get some wonderful results out of mussels. Mm. Can't get enough of these beauties. Let me bring them steaming to the table. Mm -mm. And here's Lydia. A beauty for Lydia. Some sauce. Okay, some sausages. There you go. And one, two, and three. Mamma mia. The rest, you can bring it right to the table. They can help themselves to more. On a trivet, you put it on the table. Now, first of all, I put some oil. Now on this one. And on Lydia's, okay. Now a little bit of parsley, a little bouquet, just like that. And just like that. I'm gonna put another one for my shells. So don't you forget to put one for the shells at the table, you know, a bowl. Between every two, three people, you put an empty bowl. Wine, a nice white crispy wine. A Sauvignon from Friuli is beautiful, uh, but not a sweet wine. Crisp and not too complex. This is a light meal and you want some great fresh wine. So let me taste. Uh, do you feel I'm rushing? I am, I don't want it to get cold. Mm. So you know what we used to do? We used to go like this and grab some sauce and some sausages or whatever and you just slurp it in. Mm. I want you to come, come quick. I don't want it to get cold. I don't want mine to get cold. So, as I always do, there's plenty of muscles here for everyone. Come and join me. And as I always say, Tutti a tavola a mangiare! Mmm, salute!